We've been looking at how to declare and manipulate data in matrices. The reason we've been doing this is because we are going to be using these skills to analyze and visualize data in matrices. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to perform statistical analysis. MATLAB has many functions that can compute descriptive statistics, such as the mean or standard deviation of a group of numbers. Some functions that you might find useful are max, min, STD for standard deviation, mean, and median. Now remember my tip from the last video, you should write down the name of these functions down so that you can look them up when you need them. Now these functions all work very similarly, so we're going to look at just one function here, the mean. As you might expect, the mean function computes the average value of the input, however it works in a few different ways depending on what the input x is. To show you what I mean, let's switch over to MATLAB, and let's declare a vector a with say the values of 3, 9, 19, 16, 20, and 14. Now let's use the mean function. I'm going to call the output variable here mean of a, mean a equals mean a. As we expect, MATLAB returns the average value of the vector. Okay, now let's declare a matrix B. Let's say B has the values of 19, 14, 15, semicolon, 15, 8, 14. Now let's run the function mean again, and I'm going to call the output variable here mean B, equals mean, open parentheses, B, close parentheses, and we got a vector back. So what's going on? Whenever we use a new function, it's always a good idea to read the help documentation. So let's type in help mean and see what we get. Okay, and we see here that S is a row vector containing the mean value of each column. So that's what our variable mean B is. It's the mean of each column in the matrix B. So what is the command to compute the mean of all elements in B? Now if you manage to read this line, then good spotting. The answer is to include a second input all, which is a text input. And you can tell here that it is a text input because the word is surrounded by apostrophe. So let's try that. Mean B equals mean, open parentheses, B, comma, apostrophe, all, close, and close parentheses. And this time we get just a single number that is the mean of all the elements of B. Okay, one thing I'd like to point out. If you look at the third syntax of help, you'll see that mean x dim takes the mean along the dimension dim of x. This value dim specifies the dimension of the matrix x. As we mentioned previously, the 2D matrices that we're working on right now have two dimensions, the rows and columns. In MATLAB, rows are defined to have a dim value of 1, and dim equals 2 means columns. This definition never changes, it is hard coded in. Now we know that mean b computes the mean of each column in b. What is the command to compute the mean of each row in b? If you said the answer was mean b, 2, then you were right. The second argument 2 here means that the function computes the mean along each column, or in other words, it computes the mean of each column. The other statistics functions that we mentioned earlier work in a very similar way, and I want to encourage you to read the help documentation for them. One thing I want to point out is for the functions min and max that are used to find the smallest or largest element of the matrix. Let's pull up the help for min. Notice that by default, min computes the minimum element of each column. However, to find the smallest element of the whole matrix, the second argument is actually an empty matrix, and the third argument is the text all. So here's an example in MATLAB. Now, if you find that all confusing, well, don't worry. We're not going to require you to memorize the syntax of the functions, although your coding will go a lot faster if you do remember the functions that you use often. 
Instead, you should make it a habit to look at the help documentation. And remember that you can always reach out to us if you have any trouble understanding the technical terms.